right, guys, what's going on? It's uh, it's Dylan here. Uh, welcome to another sort of hammer tutorial type of thing that I thought I would do. Uh, looks like um, looks like some people uh, watching this from other things. I thought, well, I'll just take a quick one. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, today I thought I would tackle particularly uh, another game of Sagarian and Hammer, more for Team Fortress 2, but it will cover some of the other basic stuff, such as making tools, which will require me to backtrack uh, certain things, so you are going to have to bear uh, with me um, when it comes to stuff like that. Um, so I'm just going to, uh, I, I just gotta get some music going here. Uh, we're gonna, as per usual, launch in to, um, what, the freaky freaking hammer. Uh, that's cool. Uh, so thanks guys. Um, we're gonna take it slowly, so I'm just gonna recap what happened, uh, last time. So I made a simple map on here, just to show you how to do stuff like this. Um, just to teach you how to basically make stuff. Uh, this is, uh, you can now actually see what I did make uh, for my map, the Bioshock map. It's a bit flawed, there's a problem here, as you can see, where this is way too close to the red spawn area, for some reason. Uh, gets me. But that's okay, that's, that's fine. I can move that one. Um, but uh, anyway, I know actually I think it's this way to the map actually I think it's fine. Um, so today we're gonna actually learn how to uh, make stuff for Team Fortress 2. It's pretty straightforward. We're not gonna go overboard with this stuff. Don't forget if you want to ask me any questions in the chat, I am reading it or I will occasionally go back and forth check things out so just basically ask away so what we're just going to do we're going to create a simple box that we're going to have to uh, make a blue team base Mondo. That's uh, that's good. Uh, okay, so I mean, for now, this is just the basics. Um, what we're first going to do is uh, we're going to create light in this one, and uh, we may do some triggers. Uh, I may show you some particles that you can use, and I'll also show you how you can add music uh, if you want to add music. And this can uh, count for anything. So, like I said, continue asking me questions if you have any on how to make stuff. So what I'm first going to do is I'm just going to create this one. I'm more doing this for people to actually have a uh, more of a uh, view of what I make. Why the heck did I make <laughs> such a dark blue team? Honestly, it's because of Kyle. Blame Kyle for everything. I blame Kyle. Um, right. Um, how am I going to do this? really annoying song that I just that I heard from this album called Thursday Tomorrow which is no tomorrow uh, the Lemon Wolf um, song from one of the episodes I don't know why I was watching top, top 10 notable uh, videos and they had 
this beautiful video about South Park and again the Disney Channel and the Disney Channel. Um, and then I can take a look at it. We're also going to create a spawn area for PS2. Let's see, I can see it in here from this angle as well. Let me adjust it down. Okay, so it's not too bad. That one is just about right. Uh, you need to put that full screen. There's like a little, uh, you can't see it from where I am. You just put a full screen and trust me, you'll go blind. Otherwise, you're going to see things here like the menu and stuff like that. Um, should we add a camp or a skybox? Oh, uh, wait a minute. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do this here. I'll also teach you how. I already taught a lot of people how to change uh, the textures in the last video, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, so, um, there you go. Nux Chorus sucks, dude. You're awesome. Um, I have one more thing I'm going to change just real quick. Because why not? There is also another thing I might teach you, depending on whether you guys actually want it, where you can make all those textures join up together. Uh, again, this is dependent on um, what you guys want to do, uh, what you guys want to do with this texture. I Again, I'm limited as well, but this is just sort of the basics, the bare bones of making maps in uh, between full screen and stuff like that. So anyway, so what we've got here is a very closed room, um, and what we want to do is we want to, you know, create light uh, for this room because right now, you know, there are some maps where you want it to be dark and creepy and stuff like that. Uh, this is probably not the best example, but what I am going to do is I'm going to add a door. Ignore the other empty spaces for the moment. What we are going to focus on is actually making light. So what I like to do, what I would recommend, okay, uh, I can't even watch the stream because I don't have my thing open. Sorry, buddy. Um, so what you got to do is you got to create an entity here. And like what I told you before, let's go to Cross. This is how it's done. Crop static. Then. Uh, I think stay away from that one. Let's use this one. I use this for my bio textures a lot. Let's see here. Um, I noticed some people have already left. I apologize. Maybe it's not clear to you. Let me create some more blank space for this. I can see it. I can that again so we got a light here um, and what you got to do is if you to make light is you got to create another entity here literally type in light um, and then you basically drag it to the top. Remember, get rid of snapping because it's not going to work out perfectly. Um, so 
so there you go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to check if the light works. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It sort of wants to make its own mind 95% of the time, which is really annoying. So let's see what happens here. This takes a lot longer than I expected. Again, this is... Um, but hopefully... I hope you guys can actually see it. I'll check it either way. Let me check the lights. It does take a long time to load, which is normal when you already create a new map and you're already updating it like this. And uh, yeah, so we'll see what happens with the new map. And I've already made an error with this map because I didn't make the spawn zone. Uh, but at least this gives me time to actually create it. All right, it worked. Oh, and no problem, Chuck Norris. Um, uh, I just realized I had to make the spawn zone because of that as well. So let's see, I'm gonna turn off the spawn zone. For a while. Hope everyone's also watching Scream 3. Um, you know, I thought E3 was a uh, was pretty cool this year. Uh, a lot of cool stuff going on. Let's waste them! All you gotta do is all you gotta do is double click here and uh, you can also change some other stuff as well. So let's say, for example, I want to put Y. Let's change it to color. really strange happened that that the guy who was I don't know who the heck came up with this new stuff but <laughs> I was just randomly, I just turned on my uh, my phone, and of course, then someone sends me on Twitter, and it's some guy who dresses himself as a girl. I'm like, dude, what does he do for a living? Um, anyway, um, so let's see what happens. I have a view. Of okay, so it turned red. And as you see, Let's 
Let's waste them. Um, right, so there you go. That's how you add a light. Pretty straightforward. Nothing too difficult there, right? Um, you can, of course, check and play with these lights as much as you want. This is your choice. I do not enforce this. You just go play around and do whatever the heck you want at this point. Um... Let's talk about spawn zones. Now, again, this is more referring towards my college guys. So if you don't want to see this part, you can skip ahead and do whatever the heck you want. Or you can just delete. That's cool. This is more towards my college. Um, it's actually pretty straightforward how to make, like, spawn areas for teams. But there are a few things that you should take into account. So I'm just going to get rid of this finger. This jerk. What you got to do is you got to determine which zone you want to create it in. So I'm going to put a blue one in here. And I'm going to call it, uh, oops, sorry, I did this wrong. I want to call it blue. So let's call it blue. Um, and this will just since this account, by the way, for um, this can also count, by the way, for um, you know, for uh, for Gary's mod. Uh, what you need to uh, make sure to do is the spawn area. It should not be on top of the uh, the actual server. Make sure it's a bit above it, and there is a reason for it because. Then the, the whole thing won't work. So right now I'm going to create a couple of spawn guys. Uh, let's place them all in here. Do it manually. You have to do this manually. Even if you don't want to, it's uh, it's just manual. It's kind of great. Sort of concentrating at the same time, my brain's going uber poo with the high lag. Um, but anyway, I actually know what I'm going to do about it. You know, I'm the least creative person in the world. Okay, so we got like um, a nice cool little spawn area now. But the problem is, is that we haven't made uh, the game determine where the actual spawn area is going to be. Okay. So basically what happens, we need to create an area where we determine this is where the blue team starts, this is where the red team starts. Now this, you would think, would be quite complicated. It sort of is, uh, but if you practice a lot, you'll get the hang of it. What you got to do is you basically got to create a box. Um, thanks to uh, Jesper being a jerk. Happy now, Jesper. Um, press enter. Change uh, the texture and make sure that you put it in at trigger. Okay. This one. Apply. Now, this is the really important part, so be careful what you do here. Okay. So, we've made a box with trigger, but it doesn't actually trigger anything. So, what we need to do is we need to go, we need to select this, go to entity, then type in function respawn room. Simple. Okay? Apply team name. That's 
basically it. Hopefully. Um, again, I have been practicing all afternoon, so I'm hoping that this will work. But what should happen now is the game will now know that if I'm in the blue circle... <laughs> So many errors are building up right now. Wait a second. Okay. It's loading. Okay, good. Everything's working now. Welcome. Five people watching this is cool, so that's great to know. Sorry, my mic's going off. <laughs> that was a little weird. Um, so now we basically got to do the same thing. I would suggest some people say, okay, I'll, I'll copy and paste it and stuff like that. Can you hear me now? Hopefully you guys can hear me now a little better. Good. All right. This should be uh, significantly better. Um, okay. Um, going back to this, you don't want to make, uh, you don't want to copy and paste it sometimes. You can, and I'm not saying you shouldn't, but I would not recommend this. Why is this? Well, because um, it's tricky. Like, it, it's tricky. It may not read it properly and make, you know... You may complicate certain triggers and stuff like that. So I wouldn't recommend this method at all. Um, so we're just going to have to do this manually again. So I'm going to repeat basically myself over and over what I'm doing right now. There we go. Uh, so again, just to reiterate, choose a team. Red. Call this call yourself um, red team one second these uh, TFA is missing me hey dude just a quick question you should click the arrow by your name and change your status to offline also I can hear you much better now thanks for changing your volume I will message you again okay no big man TFA can always message me. He's a genius. Um, he made some really amazing mods uh, for Gary's mod. So anyway, we got the red team. What we got to do is uh, we're going to copy and paste uh, some more stuff. Actually, what I am going to do is I'm going to... Uh, going to paste another one here. Make sure these two... Dinkleberries. I actually said that, but hey, when you have very little friends, what do you expect? You come up with all kinds of names that you never intended to make. Um, so these ones go up. Okay, so we got them here now. gonna copy and paste it we can be a little sloppy here if you want but that's okay since we're doing it both it is all good all right so we did this part now we just got to make um, a spawn area to 
press enter, this happens, so we've got the same trigger. If you don't have an entity, go to to entity, type in function respawn room, apply to team red, yes, room, all right, uh, respawn red, because kappa. Done. That's it. Um, Let's see oh, what's going on. Uh, I can hear you. Are you watching TFA, aka TFA, the Forgotten Architect? Yes, he is watching. Um, again, apologies. I have to do it like this. So, okay, so we got a spawn room. So let's go check again if this works. Again, I'm going to have to switch over to Team Fortress 2. If you want to see how to make just general stuff in... Um, Sorry, wait a second. In, um, in Hammer, you can always uh, you can always go and check out my previous video. It's also in past broadcasts. It's also in my YouTube channel, so you can check all that kind of stuff out. So that's really cool. So let this load. Yeah, get down the ball, boss. Can't really do that typical New Jersey accent. I'm not from New Jersey. I'm from. California. Let me get some water. California doesn't know anything about hard work. Well, we do, but you know what I mean. Any Californian out there knows what I mean. So let's go to the red team. And as you can see, boom, we're in the red team. Yay, so we can play with people. Let's waste them! Also, another thing which um, you may not notice is that depending on materials, um, the sound actually changes. So if you're using a metal material, you'll hear metal noises. If you hear wooden material, you'll hear some sort of creaky wooden noises. So there's only one thing which is here with these blue tiles. I get that for every map, but it don't make any the same rumbling noise. Eat my dust! Uh, I should apologize at this point because the frame rate won't be 100%. I have not optimized this for gaming OBS, but um, hopefully all will go well. Okay, does there have to be a minimum height for the spawn room? Not sure if you mentioned it already. I just popped in. Uh, to answer your question, Wiggly, uh, no, there isn't. You don't need any of that. It's simple. There's no actual spawn height. It's your decision what you want to do. Um, so, this is, uh, it, this works in every way. I would teach you guys a bully zone, but that's going to take a little while. I just noticed the lower. Got to be autistic about this. So, I'm going to also teach you, uh, I'm going to put some more lights, um, around here while I talk about the next thing, which we're going to discuss, which is a wonderful beautiful magical thing simply called one second I just have to remember what I was gonna say um, simply called adding music um, it's kind of complicated kind of not uh, wait deadly joker I can barely hear you and the in-game sound is quite loud yeah, I'll boost the volume up so that you can properly hear me again. Can you hear me now? Blech, that's too loud. Can you hear me now? I hope that's better. Anyway, um... So, okay, so we got lights, but we want to add music. Now, I haven't got, well, I do have music, and what we're going to do is we're going to, um, we're going to add some F1 uh, 2012, 2011 music. We're going to add the uh, Champions music. Um, in order for this to work, this is going to require you understanding your Team Fortress 2 Gary's Mod folder a little bit. So I'm just going to go here. 
to um, program file a oh, Steam, sorry. Um, go to bin. Okay. Uh, which which file? Oh, sorry, wrong file. You have to go to your TF file, and then uh, there should be a, a file here that says sound. If you don't have that, create a folder and put it there. I believe. Um, if I'm not mistaken. One second, because uh, I just need to check something. Hmm. Ah, sorry, never mind. Okay, so it's not TF. Sorry, don't confuse it. Don't do what I did. I also did this last time. What you need to do is you need to go to your HL2 file and go to sound. Now, I already created a Bioshock sound for my uh, Bioshock map. What we're going to do is we're simply going to create a new folder here. This is what how I do it. You don't have to do it my way. Um, you can create a new folder, but what we're actually going to do is we're going to drag it. And what you should do is open Audacity. Audacity is free. Anyone can get this. What we're going to do is we're going to convert a sound file into .wav. You need to do this, otherwise it doesn't work, whether you like it or not. Uh, make sure this is at 4800 um, hertz. Maybe a little less, I'm not too sure. But I know it works for my one. Go to export audio. Make sure it's not um, uh, MP3. It has to be WAVE. I repeat it again, it has to be WAVE. Go to program files. And then I believe we go to um, Steam library, Steam apps, common, because we're common people. Go to HL2, sound, and then you save it onto there. Done, we'll convert with this. Don't save in my case because I don't want to save it. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an entity now. Double click and I believe it's uh, sound. It's function sorry info. I have to remember which one it was. It's one of these. Uh, there was a there was one down here which was talking about music sound entity fire 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 microphone. That's uh, something else. I won't go through that one today. Could it be sound? I believe change supports others, though. I just thought it might be relevant. Yeah, it could also be 4400 as well. We'll check it. Again, the whole point is that I'm experimenting just like you guys a little bit here because I have to. Let me just remember what the filter list was. Okay, wait. Uh, I'm a goat. Hello, goat. I'm the Joker. It's an Oracle Sun. Notice me, Senpai Villam. I love emojis. Cool for you. Um, what we need to do is uh, sound entity TF2. One second. Ambient generic, I believe that's the one. Um, apply sound name. So you have to do ambient generic sound name. Uh, refresh sounds. And what we're going to do is we're going to need to go to open source. I'm not mistaken. Uh, which one was it? Oh, sorry. Uh, we type. We get rid of this, and we type in host three champs. There it is. Ha ha. Preview it. So you can see the sound works. Apply. And now we got a sound. Hopefully, hopefully. Let's let's also keep our uh, heads a little low here. I'm gonna mute this because I can hear a little bit in the background. Um. 
what was I going to do? Okay, I'm going to switch over to to Fortress 2. Again, this can work uh, for Gary's mod just fine. My mom is once again asking me when my next exam is happening. Isn't it nice to know my mom is worrying about me? The problem is, is that she's asking it like 2,000 times. I'm like, it's next week. It's like two weeks from now or something like that. Oh, uh, man. I love my mom. Continue. Let's see what happens now. There's no sounds. Which is a problem. Woohoo! Uh, the good news is the lights work, but there is a problem, as you can see. So I think I made a mistake here. Oh, wait. I think I know what it is. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to go there. You need to double click, and you need to go to flags. Disable this. And disable this. And click play everywhere. There you go. That might be the issue. Uh, sorry. So what? Uh, so I didn't go back to it. Basically, what you need to do is you need to double click on the actual uh, entity. I'll let this part load. You need to double click on the entity. Go to flags and disable everything and enable play everywhere. Just, uh, just gonna say that because otherwise the sound won't work. And make sure again, and I reiterate, it's dot wav. This is also industry standard, so please do that. Otherwise, you're dead, and it's gonna be impossible. Load, load Team Fortress Two. My GPU was built for this. Because of the stupid map. Alright, there we go. Hopefully this um, it's still Let's waste them! Which means it's probably because of the killer hurts, so I think TFA had a point there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Audacity. So I think he had a point where it needed to be 44. 4,000. I think it's 44,000 as well, when I think of it. Yeah, 44,100. I'm just going to go back here, drag and drop. Uh, 44,100. Okay, let's export this file. This is probably the issue that we have right here. Save, yes, okay. Why not? Why can I not use that? Export audio. Yes. Why is this doing it now? Let me go back to uh, here. Can you see now, hopefully, my screen? Wait a second. Does this have to be a minimum height for the spawn room? No, wait, I'm looking at it. Never mind. When you play the game, your, st your stream starts to lag. Maybe you could fix it. It's not a problem. Just saying, yeah, don't worry about that for now. It's, it's just I haven't optimized it for gaming. That's all. It was. I just know it's it is forty four thousand. Let me just go back to my audio. What I might do is I might just quit TF two for the moment. The Steam library, Steam apps, common. Why am I repeating myself? The moment you realize you have no friends. File, 
export audio. Should work now. No. Okay, let's go back. Browse it again. Go to hammer. Let it load. Let it load. Can't hold it back anymore. Yeah, I sing too much. Um, and my singing voice anyway is terrible. As anyone who knows me knows this. So uh, I've got to delete the sound file here. Um, create a new one. Um, ambient generic, I believe it's called. Previous check. Okay, good. All right. Go to flags. Play everywhere. Disable all this. Make no friends in the process. Any more questions, you guys? It's not a problem. All right, we've still got five people, so thanks for tuning in. I promise you I won't be wasting too much more time after this. Load! <laughs> Big shout out to my mom. She's just done 20k of walking. Uh, for the last two days, she's doing this sort of walkathon thing. It's really amazing, and I'm really happy for her. So she's very tired right now. So big shout out to her. For anyone who's commenting, give her a shout out. It would really mean the world, I think, uh, to her. But maybe you guys don't want to. It's all cool. I'm not forcing you. Not forcing you. I swear. Um, So yeah, after this, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to export this actual stream and then I'm going to stream again. And uh, we're going to change a little bit my Bioshock level publicly. Now you can hear the audio. So um, that's really cool. Play ball! Except we have now officially added audio. So yay! And thank you, Wiggly Wabbit, for saying thanks to my mom and to Stai. Thank you guys. Uh, you guys are really, really, really awesome. Uh, so let me just go back to my PC. I just realized I left this on. Dang, dang it. Uh, but now you can hear audio. I'm really sorry. I'm really stupid. Um, so now you have added audio. So this covers ba the basics of, um, of adding levels and all kinds of stuff to your game. And if you're going to design levels for TF2, don't do what I did, which is create a big box and add stuff on it. Uh, you know, play around with it, experiment, find something you like, add props, etc. Um, and yeah, that should be it. I hope you guys like this uh, stream. I hope if there's any questions, I'll answer them now. So I'll leave the, uh, the comments out there. While I check the news, big racing fan here. Don't like the current situation of F1. Too many pay drivers and fools that run it. Uh, could you possibly show how to make a skybox? Okay, well, just for the fun of it, I will. Uh, I already made a video on that. Um, so it's it's really the easiest thing ever. Like even my mom, who's useless at technology can make this. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a box. Oh, sorry. Create a box here. Fill up the room. Press enter. And 
what you're going to do is you're going to go to the texture here and type in sky. Oh, shoot. Sky. And it's usually all the way in the bottom. You could choose 2D or 3D. For fun, we're going to do uh, this one, skybox, 3D. And, uh, and then you just literally do the same thing here again. You don't even have to go change the uh, textures. Um, oops. Why so small? Uh, press enter. Now, the default sky is a very cloudy sky. So what you guys need to do, wait. Uh, boom, are you going to stream a game tonight as well? I don't know. I don't think I'm going to do that. Everyone's asking me that. I don't really stream games anymore. Um, but uh, my pal Giuseppe will start doing that soon, hopefully. Skylist um, Hammer. Uh, this is... and then, Okay, so to explain, um, in, in Gary's mods or in anything, they make you load this default sky which is ugly it is the most hideous thing ever so i want to have a, a a sky that sort of meets with my theme so let's try out this one sky day 0306 now there are certain categories again uh choose the source materials because anyone can then have that sky box otherwise you're loading all these custom sky boxes and people may not have it and you need them to download all these materials if they have this content, like the original Half-Life or the Synapsodes and stuff like that, that's good for you and for them, but for everyone else it's a bit of a fail. So I'm going to do uh, Sky Deo, Deo 306, copy this, and what you got to do, it's really simple, Map Properties, Skybox Texture, paste that in, Apply, Skybox Fixed. Uh, so let's go and uh, check that one out, see what what's the, the deal with it. Just enter. Let it load. Let it load. Can Why am I singing that song? Oh my gosh, I have no friends. Um... Again, let it load. Hate that song. Hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. I think I've spent almost an hour making this so far, but anyway. Okay, songs loaded. Blue team. And as you can see, look! got a sky and you know what the best thing about this eat my dust what the best thing about this is this auto bank so everything is baked automatically which is great because that means that uh, you'll see the the sun rays going through and stuff like that without Play any ball. lights or dynamic lighting and stuff like that. So that's really cool. Pretty straightforward, huh? Um, and it's that's actually pretty much it. That's how you basically make. Um, that's basically how you put audio. And uh, sorry, audio and a proper skybox and all that kind of stuff in uh, in a game. This is your like list of love. Uh, also, if you have an open level, you just add in a massive cube. Yes, but be sure you cover all the edges, um, because that is really, 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 really important. So yeah, that's actually pretty much it. Um, I'm just going to go back here, give you a motion capture of the screen. Um, again, this is not my level. I don't particularly like this level. I could show you the level I am making right now for my university. I'll let it load. This is, as you can see, all the stuff that I'm doing, including entity props and stuff like that. There's some props that are going to be uh, I'm going to get rid of now as we speak. 
and there are going to be some changes. And I need to double click. Prop static. That's probably why. I'm going to have to check this. Because what would happen is you would actually go through all of this. Um, So let's see what happens. So I can show you my map if you want. Uh, Boom, are you still living in Holland? Unfortunately. Um, but don't worry, I go back to America um, this summer, which is good. And next year, I plan to do my internship back in America, which is good. I'm a proud America. American. Yeah, America. <laughs> American. Um, so I'll, I'll show you my Bioshock map if you guys are interested uh, to see how that goes. Um, I have nothing against Holland, by the way. It's just like, you know, I really want to go back home to America. So I'll show you my Bioshock map now. Hopefully this works. It's got to be a lot of stuff. So load PC all right. Hopefully, uh, you can see this. There's gonna be lag, but it's not expected. Let's waste them. Okay, now the snare will disappear. They're on the sea. Trying to lower the sun. So what I've also done is I've added capture zones for Torches 2. So that means you can actually uh, go to the capture zones and stuff like that. Which is really cool. Uh, but the issue with this map is pretty straightforward. It's longer for the blue team to get into their... To get the uh, actual flag and drop it into their base. Yeah! Pace. It's ours now! We have secured the enemy intelligence. And it's... And it's shorter for the red team to actually do that. I'll show you that now. When it actually spawns. Okay. As you can see, it's, I'm right there. Like, I'm straight there. We have taken the enemy. Which is a bit of a problem. I'm also going to be adding water effects and stuff like that, and I am planning I'm to not even launch this into we have so, If you guys want me to, I'll see what you guys say on Twitch. We have taken the enemy intelligence. I got it! I got it! I got it! The enemy and uh, if you capture enough, you can. We have taken the enemy intelligence. See, I want to get an achievement here. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, oh, another thing I will show you, which I may do for another video, is uh, a bully zone. Uh, this needs to be fixed. And uh, the bully zone, what that does is it basically doesn't allow you to um, get into another person's base like this. So that's really cool. So let's try and get this achievement because why not? We have taken the enemy and. 
We have secured the enemy intelligence. We have taken the enemy intelligence. I got it! Yes, I got an achievement. Alright, so with that being said, um, there's nothing really much else that I could show you, at least for today. Um, there's a lot of lag, because unfortunately my uh, game is being like this. Alright, if you have an open level, alright, I almost didn't hear you there, but it looks awesome, so I'm interested in anything to learn from it all. That's fantastic to hear. I Again, I apologize if everything is lagging like there's no tomorrow. My intention is not this, as you know. Um, it's just OBS is being a pain in the neck. So thank you so much for watching the stream. I will upload this again on YouTube for anyone else who's interested. Um, until then, I'll, there's another video coming tomorrow out on the YouTube channel, our new series, Map Spotlights, uh, which previews and showcases Gary's Mod Spotlights. This week is Fallout Week, and Level will be doing that. He's, uh, he's a YouTuber I just signed up uh, to work on our channel, which is great. Until then, um, I'll see you next Monday or some other time. Take care, guys. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.